Hello dear, today we'll be talking about why you need a business plan. A lot of businesses have been closing down this year. Reason is because inflation is crazy, exchange rates if you are in Nigeria, everything keeps increasing in price, even in other countries are not Nigeria, in price back to back in raw material, which is affecting business. In this case, having a business plan is one of the things that would keep you afloat. Let's dive straight into it. So the first reason why you need a business plan is because it guides you. If you are going to Lekki from mainland, from Ikeja, the Google map is your guide. Just enter your destination and the Google map would tell you, you are one hour away, there's traffic. So pass this route and do not pass this route. The same thing with your business plan. It helps you along the line because business is a journey. And it's a journey full of ups and downs. We have the days that you make a lot of money and you are so happy like, wow! I don't make them. And the next month, <laughs> you are running at loss. Or perhaps you may not even be running at loss. You are making one over three of what you made last month. And you are like, I did the same thing I did last month. What changed? What is the difference? I ran at, I used hashtag, I was visible. I was this, I was that. That's business for you. It comes with these challenges. You make a lot of money. And sometimes you win some, you lose one. Sometimes they are at the point of even, break even here. Yeah. You're not making profit, you're not making loss. Because imagine you're buying something for 10,000, you sell it for 13,000. By the time you get back to market to restock, you're now meeting it for 14,000. What is that? Loss. Yeah, it did not happen to me because I have a business plan and I have what I'm working with and it cannot happen to me. <laughs> Does that mean I don't make losses? <laughs> Maybe one day I'll make a video and tell you the losses I have seen in business. No thriving business would not make losses. It's not possible. <laughs> okay. And the next point is, it helps you identify your weakness. At the end of this video, I will link how you can write a business plan. I have the video already, but just calm down. Understand your why. And this will guide you when writing your business plan. Okay? Now, it helps you identify your weakness. If you are a product or service-based business, if you have listed down the things you are meant to do for your business, the how, the why, then you realize that, you need to make flyer for your business every three, three months because you plan to run promo at this point in your business, say for the year. Then you don't know how to use Canva. Then you went to learn the thing. This thing is not even entering. <laughs> then you know that this is a weakness that you should assign to someone and pay someone to do it for you. I am an advocate of learning a lot of things for the sake of your business. But at the same time, there are some things that you cannot do yourself. Unless it is wiser to channel that time to something else. So these things, what do you do? You delegate it. Cannot come and kill yourself. You did not kill somebody. So you identify your weaknesses, the things that you are struggling with. You can easily outsource it. And doing this, you would be more productive when it comes to your business. Okay. If you are still watching, you can hit the like button. This would help you to know this video is valuable and push it out to more people that need to see this content. Thank you. Next one is so that you can create an attractive growth strategy. How do you want to go? What is your projection for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years? A business plan would help you guide, create, and have a growth strategy that is realistic that you can follow through and processes that would help you achieve this goal. And the next point is to attract investors. Some business owners, some small business owners, if you ask them, what is your business plan? What do you plan to do for the next three, four, five, six, seven years? They'll be like, ah, my plan is to sell and to money to eat food. <laughs> like it's food. It's only food you want to be eating in your life. I feel food. See our highs. <laughs> That's a joke. But when you're in business, you should be good with your numbers. You should keep record. How much are you making per month? How much in profit are you making per month? How much in sales and a lot of that. I have a video, seven app you need for your online business to grow. I'll put the link in the description box. When you're done with this video, just watch it. You need those online app to grow your business. Very important. How do you attract investors? If you do not have a business plan, if you are not good with your numbers, if someone asks you what is your plan, you're like, Sorry, I'm not sorry. The next one is it helps you manage your business properly. When you have a destination, you have where you are going, you can manage your business the right way. A lot of businesses are not going or thriving because they are not being well managed. You are mixing who you are with your business. Now, I am on YouTube, I am building my personal brand. My business has a brand on Instagram. My personal brand is not on Instagram yet. How do I put it? Like, separate yourself. One of the things I plan to do this year is to find a voice for myself, have a brand, and start building it, which I have been doing, right? Building your business is different from... So my point is majorly that your business is totally different from you. 
you have to manage your business with respect and you have to manage it properly if you do not manage it properly you won't get results and you won't go the right way you are meant to go okay the next point is it shows you are serious like when you are saying okay serious people come out or you two you come out <laughs> you are in the whatsapp group of serious people it shows your commitment it shows your zeal it shows you are ambitious it just shows you know what you are doing and the next point is it guides you with your profit margin you know when you are running at loss you it even prevents you from running at loss you are most likely not to run at loss if you have a business plan and it helps you with pricing right and putting a lot of things in place click here to watch this video on how to write a good business plan see i poured my art into this video and you would get a lot of value if your confusion is how to price your product click here and watch how to price your product because this time if you are not careful with pricing your product you are going to price at loss thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video